What's up guys? It's Bugs. And I'm back at it again with another video blog. Sorry, I've been slacking as you can see. I've been a very busy guy. Uh, moved uh, and all sorts of other shit. But uh, yeah, we can save that for another vlog. So today, what we're going to talk about is making friends. Yeah, sure, this is usually some pretty simple shit, but when you're moving into your 30s, or just in general feel like you're a busy adult, trying to balance time and be responsible, I feel like it becomes a little more complicated than that. I mean, you could always go to a bar, have a good time being a drunken disaster with somebody else, but I personally don't recommend that. To each their own. Or... You can use a few reliable methods of making friends as you get older. Starting with reconnecting with old friends. Now I don't recommend doing this with a friend that you've had some sort of crazy fucking fallout with, some past drama that's just way out there. You might want to try this with, you know, somebody that you've hung out with in the past, they know you, you wanted to hang out, but it ended up never really working out because some dumb bullshit in the past got in the way, but you now it's the future. And I missed the button. I'm really good at this. But these types of people generally know your consistency, they know what to expect from you, and they're way less defensive when you talk to them. Because I'm sure you've noticed as we all get older, we're a little bit more defensive and skeptical of the people that we're meeting for obvious fucking reasons. Now another thing you can try now hear me out when I say this because this might blow you the fuck away. Listening to what other people have to say. Now I know, it's crazy, but having such a critical ingredient to holding a good conversation can lead you to learn how much you might have in common with people that you encounter every single day. Everyone's different, everyone has their own passions, but we're not that drastically different and we can definitely have things in common with other people. And generally that is a very good stepping stone for building a friendship. And I just realized I didn't put the, the, the text up there, but you know, we just, just listen to people. Listen to what they have to say, okay? I don't think you need to read that, you'll be all right. That brings us to the next one, which is to be your self, even if you're really fucking weird like me. Why isn't it stuck? Be yourself. Be open. You don't need to divulge too much information, but you really shouldn't be holding back either. You need to let someone know who you are rather than, oh, yes, rain. How about something like, wow, it's raining. I love rain. Rain makes me really happy. The sound of rain rushing down the building just makes me so excited. Oh my God. Oh, wow, look, raindrop on my face. Now I am extremely turned on. See, that's divulging too much information. Do not divulge that information. You can talk about basic shit like video games, handbags. You know what? Cool. You like League of Legends? How about this? What is your favorite character in League of Legends? What role do you play? What do you think actually makes or breaks a game? These are things, oh, oh the handbags, what, what's your favorite brand? How many pockets do you like to have in your handbag? Motherfucker, there's so many things, so many things you can talk about. It doesn't need to be basic as fuck. Now, while you're doing these things, you're probably wondering, hmm, now how do we, how do we turn these acquaintances into friends? Well, just you wait, I got just the answer for you. Oh, would you look at that? Don't be a fucking stranger. If you want them to be your friends, you need to talk to them. Hey, what's up? How was your day? How was your week? How was your month? How was your cat? How is, how is Bob, your, your grandfather, doing? Fucking make some conversation. You don't just like, poof, okay, we hung out that one day and we're just going to magically hang out another day. No, it does not work like that at all. Dude, some of these people, you might not talk to them because you think that they don't like you and they're being distant with you. But... But it could be mutual because you have things in common. So if you both have the same anxiety, whatever kind of shit you got going on, they might not be talking to you because they think you don't like them either. So the only way to get that awkward fucking turtle out of the fucking room is to, I don't know, break the fucking ice. Wow, bugs. You know, you really, 
You're really making some interesting points. No fucking shit! Now, if only I could just figure out where I could incorporate these awesome tips you just gave me, Bugs. Oh, I've got the solution for you, buddy. Get involved. You can, you can start a group, you can join a group, you can join a community, start your own fucking community. Oh, what kind of community should I, should I be joining? I don't know. Let's give you some ideas. You can join your local Nala fan club. How about a uh, coffee enthusiast support group? You can go to car meets, get involved with, you know, if you're into cars, find the fucking car makes that you, that you like, and there you go. There's your fucking group right there. You fucking weeb, there you go. Join the weeb group. But since you've been gone, I can't breathe for the first time. Start a fucking band, bitch! Personally, I have always had a rough time trying to meet people, make friends in an IRL scenario. So I've always excelled at networking on the internet, through meeting people through friends, generally on the internet. So, I mean, with that being said, I understand. It's not easy to just meet people, but it doesn't hurt to just come outside of your shell because when you climb out of your shell, you could bring yourself into a whole different world of shit. Again, these are simply suggestions. You don't have to do this, but if you were asking me what I would do if I'm trying to make new friends, meet new people, that's where I would start. It's up to you to figure out what works for you and you need to figure out why, all right? But I want you to figure out this question of adulthood because, again, I personally feel like it's, it's a weird spot. It's not like you just go to, to school anymore and you're like, oh, yeah, this guy's funny, huh? No, it doesn't really work like that anymore. Sometimes when somebody's really funny, like out, out in the wild, as we like to say, uh, dude, you might have some issues. Or you're just fucking crazy and fun. Yeah, hell yeah, dude, let's go. So thank you guys for watching. You could sub to the channel if you like my content. You can like the video. You can comment on it. You can share it. Up to you. You don't really have to, but I would greatly appreciate it. You can also check out my Twitch, my YouTube, my SoundCloud, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Facebook. All of that's the bugs are bad. If you're a content creator, you can always join my Discord, share your content there. All the links are down below in the description. You will see that. Feel free to let me know any topics you'd like me to cover in a vlog in the future. Because I really like getting ideas. I don't like just going, hey, you know, boom, let's just fucking make a vlog on this. Because this is how I pissed off a bunch of potheads in my community. They weren't that bad, but they're a little salty. So thank you again to everybody who watched. And until next time, peace.